Charlotte. And I'm Kendall. And we're here today with working actor George Basil. George Basil. You're George right. Basil. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'm just trying to make you more comfortable with the situation. With just open your mouth. I'm not going to let your sick little twisted fingers in my mouth. But Aziz did it, and everybody defended him. Uh, you agreed to enter into my home. Yeah. So, doesn't that mean that we have access to your body? You can fish hook my lips? No. You don't have access to my body? Okay, so, because here in my experience, when I say, I don't like that, don't do that, they don't stop. Yeah, or they're like, just for a little bit. And, and then, then you're like, okay, and then you go into the place in your brain where you go a little bit numb and you just wait for them to finish. Yeah. Or yeah. they get mad at you for saying you don't like it. And then they uh, try to destroy you. Everyone you know that they know, they're like, she's a crazy bitch. And so you just put up with it and let them have their way with your body. Yeah. Is that... Did you it from your experience? I, that's a little different from my huh. experience, yeah. Huh. Wow. Your experience is your own, though. Yeah, that's you, a good point. There is What's the bright that, side, or where's the silver lining of your experience, maybe? Uh, I know a lot about how PTSD works. Yeah, so like I know a lot about what it feels like to always be unsafe. I get the sense I've made you uncomfortable. And but now we know yeah. that that's that. not okay. Yeah, which now we didn't know. know before. Okay, I've issued a statement. Help. Thank you. Sure. I'm embarrassed. Oh. I guess I'm just a model of how social media is tricky. Yeah. Does that social help you media. feel Does better? That, are we fixed? Are we good to go? How's I am surprised and concerned. <laughs> I take your words to heart and responded privately after taking time to process what she had said. I continue to support the movement that is happening in our culture. It is necessary and long overdue. All better? Uh, Well-rounded, but uh, I still don't Because she apologized. I apologize, and I don't understand what your fucking issue is. Yeah, too. I should be more understanding, I guess. Let me try something else. Okay. I came of age in the 60s and 70s. Good for you. When all the rules about behavior and workplaces were different. That was culture then, and I'm sorry, I sometimes don't realize how admired I am. Oh. Fixed? You fixed yourself, for Good. sure. <laughs> so, um, yeah. great. Now Let's get back to the interview. We have a uh, question specific to crashing mm. about Pete Holmes. Great. Who is that? Who is yeah, that? sure. Like Lips like this? Eyes like... White guy? White George, we know that you are the father of a daughter yes. and therefore have stopped raping. I mean, one thing that we've thought is that, like, if we could just get all the men to become fathers of daughters, yeah. then no one would rape. Because that's you what can't. everybody says is like online. I don't get, I don't want Passionate wanna... upbringing, you know? I've I'm heard sorry. About, I've heard right. about that. Jessica, can you write that down for yeah, later yeah. so we can just look into it? Yeah. Is and, that, like, light to moderate physical? Now, question, because you're a comedy celebrity. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Do you find that you've lost, like, a lot of your male friends to finding out that they Can't are actually up. rapists? Oh. Oh. No. Uh, I don't, I don't really, um. Because not everybody knows. And, and it's we, so easy to rape. Oh, my God. Yeah. D it. Um, I mean, that's it's what so we've easy. Seen. We've seen in the world that it, it just like because it just keeps Happens. happening. Yeah. Right. Well, we want to say congratulations on not pulling your dick out during this yeah. interview because um, we know how hard that is for comedy guys. I yeah, thanks, but I don't know if it is. I've <laughs> seen a lot of dicks <laughs> of comedy dudes in <laughs> in non bedroom situations. <laughs> You've given us so much to think about today, George. Oh, good. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Um, so thank you so much. We would love to get you to stand in front of this mirror before you leave. Okay. Um, if we could just uh, get you over here, and then sure. we're gonna call you an Uber. Um, <clears throat> and you need to just use the name Essence. Yeah. Just tell them your Essence. I'm not okay. Essence. I'm I'm bad. 
What? We are, that was George Basil, and we are so grateful he was here with us to see the, um, to you be part of no. our, our project here. Right and I we are, uh, thank you to cool. George. And I'm, I'm Kendall, and that, and this is Charlotte yes. over there so with me. Excuse me. I, I'm not in your way. You are in my oh, way. Partners and twins, <laughs> and um, thank you, George. Uh, and um, so we all learned a lot today, and we're grateful to be uh, with you guys as an audience to learn with us as we find out uh, that some men don't rape or can't rape or won't rape. <laughs> I feel better. Don't you feel better? No. I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. I made Will Ferrell's wife laugh one time, though. That was pretty great. Mm. Felt pretty good. Was he okay with you doing that?